Hi, this is Bino. Um, I was just uh, thinking that, you know, through my life, I've been working in trees for about 32 years, and and I think one of the things that I like the most in uh, tree care and when I've been in this tree career is the, the climbing part of it, and it's one of my most favorite things to do. Um, I was kind of lucky because I met a couple of guys in my first job um, where I worked was an amusement park. I met a guy named Howard Chavez and uh, Peter Noble, and those guys had been in tree care for just a bunch of years. Um, it was good to meet them because they really did it right. Um, when it came to um, doing the safety part of tree care, you know, trimming and climbing, they would always um, do it the right way. And even in trimming trees, they wanted to make them look natural and trim them right. Um, that was a great foundation. I really appreciated it. And, you know, as time goes, I'm, I'm looking back and I'm thinking that um, that was just the most fun part of it and I, uh, I liked it a lot and I was thinking that another thing that I like to do was when I was um, training people and, and I think through all the years I've only trained just a handful of guys um, so my son here Noah um, he, he agreed to um, work with me and, and I'll be training him how to climb so I thought that would be a good opportunity to film, film while I'm training Noah um, first what I plan on doing is just going through um, all the basic tree knots and then just work our way up just kind of in the way that I learned so I, I I'll start with like a classic or traditional tie-in and just work all my way up until you know we'll see how far Noah goes um, so hopefully you enjoy it and um, it'd probably be good for people who are in maybe landscape um, or maybe beginning tree guys maybe it'll give them some tips and maybe um, learning some of the knots and and even for people just to see what a tree climber goes through to learn the trade you know um, I think the first thing I'll do is uh, show Noah a figure eight knot all right Noah so one of the first knots that I wanted to show you was a figure eight and kind of explain what what it's really used for so um, what the what it is it basically a stopper knot so this is what we call a top one hitch and that's a climber hitch on the tail end of that is this figure eight if we didn't have a figure eight here then this could slide out when you're when you're climbing this could actually roll roll all the way out and slide if it if that happened then your knot would be worthless so we would tie a figure eight here and this it's a stopper knot and also on the bottom end of your line so this is a part you climb with this is connected to you if you were coming down you were repelling down the end of your rope is here if you didn't have a stop or not it could um, go through your climbing hitch and you would not have a knot you'd fall so this is the other part is where it's important to have is at the end of your running end that's the figure eight so I'll show you how to tie it what you want to do is you can get like a bite of your rope and basically you just wrap it around once and then follow it back through and there you go a figure eight you could also you can grab your get your hand and just put a twist in it and then put it through and there you go figure eight again okie doke you ready to give it a whirl yeah okay all right so Oh, cool, you made a pretzel knot. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go, figure eight. See if you can do the one with a twist. Twist? Yeah, one twist with your wrist. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Twist, back in, and there you go. Right. Perfect. And what's that knot used for? Uh, it's to stop the, um, the knot from slipping. Got it. Stop yeah. or not. Stop or not, yeah. Cool.